Hey, what's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tour Reviews. Working on my RV right now and I am replacing the air admittance valves. Um, I just did the one in my bathroom sink. That one was so tight I couldn't record it. I couldn't get my camera in there anywhere to really record that. Here's the kitchen one though. This one's a lot simpler. So if you've got the air admittance valves that look like this, they're either glued on or they have the female threads, which I cannot for life me find these anywhere and both of these are obviously broken. They should not be uh, rattling around like that. Um, so what I'm gonna need to do is obviously cut this down and the bathroom one was like basically touching the top of the uh, vanity there. So that was actually pretty hard to get off and it's all the way up in the corner too. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I am changing out to the male threads here and I've got a little thing I got from Home Depot. Uh, basically I need a coupler on this side here and then I'm going to female threads and then of course I can then change these out very easily. So what you want to do is you want to cut this off a little bit. I'm going to cut this down about halfway. You want to be careful not to hit any PEX lines behind there. And also have as little vibration on these drain pipes as possible. What you're going to need is of course a really small sawzall or if you're like me in that bathroom I used a multi-tool and that was really tricky to get this thing cut off but I did get it to work. And of course it's it's a fix, but yeah, it's RV stuff is very tight, very hard to get to. So once you have the right tools to get to it, you should be able to get to it. So let me cut this off and let's get this thing uh, removed here. And then once you get this thing removed, that's probably the hardest part about getting these things is just cut that piece off. And then you can of course put in the uh, actual air minutes valves that are easy to replace with the male threads. Cause once you have those, super easy to replace these things. And I'm doing this one pretty much before it needs to be done. So I'd say do them before you need to be done, before you got that smell coming in your RV and then you're good to go. Okay, that just took just a few seconds with the Sawzall. I used a really short blade here on the Makita Subcompact. Let me show you this here. Here's gonna be that Makita Subcompact. I used a metal blade, because for ABS plastic, that works really well. This thing was able to get in there, no problem. Also, you wanna make sure that you do hold the pipes when you're doing that. You want as little vibration on here as possible. Make sure to clean off any of the burrs before you re-glue that coupler back on. And I like to make sure that I'm cutting it down far enough so when I put this thing on there, I can then get, of course, the filter back off. You don't want to glue this on and you can't get that filter back off. So this is going to be super easy now to glue on and that is all you need to do. If you've got it tighter like you have in my bathroom, it's a bit more work there, but you can do it with a multi-tool, which is going to be one of these. And I just used a metal blade to get that off there and it definitely took a lot of effort to do, but you can do it definitely. So that's about it guys replacing these these air minutes valves you can find on amazon i'll throw a link in the description uh if you're getting a bit of a like a smell you know one of your bathrooms that's probably what's going on there is that air minutes valve is finally clogged it's allowing air or sewer gas back in so you definitely want to replace that and if you've got like me unfortunately where you've got the weird style you got the glued in ones you gotta cut that pipe off to be able to get on a coupler female threads and you can put on a male thread air minutes valve so that's about it guys it's really not complicated just the hard part is cutting off the old valve there and the old valve stem and then you can throw on the new one and it's very easy to do pex is like legos super easy to do but guys that's about it uh, links in the description you want to check out the parts that i used and have a great day stay safe out there